Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com here. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe at the end. I'd really appreciate it. So here we have an Ameritron AL811. Had a bunch of issues. I'll go over them. It's purchased by a local ham who purchased it from someone online. So I guess that guy said it worked and everything. It did not. It had, it had issues. So, um, okay, so where do we start? First off, the LED was out on this meter. I had two LEDs in series. So, this meter worked with the LEDs. This one did not. Um, he told me something about the guy stating or whatever that the it was modified to light up with modulation, which didn't make sense. They're both in parallel. I took it apart one. LEDs out. So, order new LEDs. I'm waiting on those. I'm waiting new dropping resistor also for the board. So, here's the old plate choke. Yes, it's fried. The old plate blocker. Put a new plate choke in. That's good to go. I put the gas caps in between the cathode and ground on e either side. Parasitic suppressor resistors were kind of shot, so I bought new ones from Ameritron and, and I installed them, put a new plate blocker in at the same time. Meter protection diode was completely missing, so I must have had a tube flash and shorted the diode. Meters weren't working properly, so he's just like, oh, I'll just you know take it out. But you know, if that happened again, he would have taken out the meters. Um, so I put a new one in. The SDBR was screwy on multiple bands, so come to find out the alignment between the output rotary switch and the input rotary switch was off. So I've worked on so many of these, I know where it's supposed to be set, so I loosened the screw and aligned the wafer to the proper spot. And still, you know, someone, because of that, someone must have went in with the tool to try to alter the slugs. Any, you know, for each slug tune coil. Um, so I went in there and I, I set them properly. So now all bands are set properly. All the way from 10 meters down to 160. Someone must have gotten it so hot that look at the paper. It's black on the side of the transformer. And another problem. Uh, this is supposed to have a spacer on both side, sides. Uh, the customer said that one nut was loose. And this was cocked sideways where he tightened it. That's not good because you can end up cracking the this material. So I put a, a, a couple nuts back there to space it, and now it's tight. Now it's not not at an angle anymore. Um, there was a lot of like solder drippage back here. I got rid of that. And here's the good part. I've only seen this happen on one other Ameritron uh, 811. So, I have a jumper cord with PL 9s as you can see, and I have the old SO239s plugged in. Watch this. <laughs> There's no tension at all. No grip, whatever. They just see, as you can see. Okay, now I have the new ones in. Push it in. Nice and tight. One of the screws was stripped, replaced that. These are silver plated with gold center conductor. Um, center, you know, gold plated center conductor material. A couple of these were loose. Um, they weren't like when I put them back on, the, the material was spread too much, so it wasn't, you couldn't feel it making connection, so I repaired that issue. So, um, that's about it. She's good to go. Oh, one other thing. These two padding caps are backwards. They've changed that over the years. Changed the values and the amount that they have. But they, they were backwards. So now they're they're uh, configured properly. They were swapped where they were connected on the actual rotary switch. I also cleaned the rotary switches with the oxic gold. And uh, just waiting on those LEDs. And she'll be uh, ready to rock and roll. She'll go back to the customer. I already tested it. Produces full output on all bands. Just have to change the LEDs. So, thanks for watching. 
Like I said, ampreparguy.com, 203-892-4119. After this, I have to work on this Heathkit SB220 for him. Um, I'm going to do all my mods and change the filter cap board and the metering board with the uh, herb buckets. So, have a great day. Take care.